we don't trust our fencing so they should not stay there overnight tomorrow they will go to a different place so for the moment they will go back in there and then get taken to the other place in the morning Some of the cows are ready to give birth to a calf. Because the bulls never stop. And now we have protest because they don't want to go in there. They want to go to where it's lush and they know that there is no forage. As you can see, she does not want to move forward because that is not the place to be. But now with some pressure by the others, will they go in there? That's the herd instinct. We humans also have it. So if everybody goes, I go. But I'm not very content. Now this place is void of pigs because they are munching on acorns. <laughs> that is much nicer than what they have been finding here. And yesterday, before the rain, the guys seeded the remaining part. I'm not really sure whether we had enough seed for everything, but um, for a good portion of this. And we hope that the pigs have integrated um, or incorporated the seed into the soil by just walking over it and moving it. And hopefully the birds did not eat a lot of it, we will see. We don't have any problem with um, with some ants because they are not out there. And then we will see. In a week and a half we should see what is germinating. In the other part over there it definitely has germinated. And when the sun comes out it looks a little bit better on camera. Hopefully tomorrow there is an opportunity I will show you. Um, but you saw in the community posts that I reported that yes, it has germinated. It is now a lot more, but with that light, it's very hard to see. And it's much nicer with some sunshine on it. And you can also note that we have puddles. So in these depressions that we created, um, water is standing on the surface. Because apparently below it is saturated or cannot go deeper. But in all in all, it's a good thing. And there's also seed in there. So this should turn green very shortly. Allow me to introduce you to our shop. It is located at our website, kaimito.eu. One of the products is the world famous Iberian ham. 
after preparation in the butcher shop, it is kept in a huge amount of salt for a while and then hung from the ceiling in climate-controlled ripening chambers for three to five years, depending on the size of the hem. People either buy a whole leg, which is between 6 and 10 kilos, or hand-cut slices that are vacuum sealed in 100 gram pouches. As you can see in many of our videos, our pigs fatten themselves on acorns running around the land. The acorns give the ham a very nutty flavor, and after you took a bite, that flavor stays in the mouth for a while, just like with a good wine. Good morning. We had the pigs out here in Zone C, and I just went up there to help a little bit, finding them to see where they are roaming at. And it turns out that they are there in the distance. So I will loop around here on this side and uh, give you a closer look of those guys there. Well, actually, now they come running. Ah, oh, they stopped. I don't know why they started running. But I will go closer. What they do is they pick the acorns that are on the surface. Because right now, the acorns just fall from the trees when they are ripe. So they don't have to dig here. And despite the fact that it's cold, we still have some sun hemp. But I see some yellow leaves, so there is some stress. Cannot be water, must be temperature. But if I zoom out a little bit and pen, you can see that here we do have quite a bit of that sun hemp. So, and I'm also a bit closer to these boys here. That looks to me like 14. Usually they don't separate, but stay in a group. All males or all females with the young, usually is the natural way. And that is what we intend to do going forward when we are allowed to breed our own pigs. Because for now, we can only buy them to fatten them up here on our land. But in the future, the idea is to also breed them and have our own line of pigs. And then we want to maintain two groups. One is the females and the other is the males. And we keep them separate because we don't want to castrate them. These boys, they have been castrated before we got them. We did not order this, it just happens. Uh, it just happened when they became available. So, so be it. But for our own program in the near future, we don't want to do that. What is also interesting is, despite the fact that it's cold at night, single digit, the Palovnias have not lost their leaves. Just the contrary. Some of them, I see one there. Let's see if I can point to it. So that one there um, seems to have made more leaves. So this is interesting. So maybe when the tree is established, then it is much more resilient to the changes in temperature. And this pig here is rooting up a bit, but the wild boars do the very same thing. And if it's on that level, it's perfectly fine. Of course, if we had now 200 instead of just 14, that might be different. 
So it's a question of management, and that is what we intend to do with all these different zones. Of course, we are still at the very beginning of all that, but I can definitely see the vision that I have in my head um, get getting turned into reality. And the setback that we had here in spring, when the seed showed up too late, and therefore nothing really grew, um, well, yeah, that's uh, just a setback. It's not a failure, because we now know how to manage this. Small areas, irrigation that is prepared, instead of scrambling to get it established. And yeah, we work our way up from zone A all the way to here and all the way up there. And then this will all come together. But it's still a lot of fencing to be built, real fencing like the one in A7. And yeah, it will come together eventually. And they are heavily mooing. They are demanding to be let out or fed. And that will happen in a moment because the guys um, are preparing in A15 and A16 the wires and all that, so that we can take them there where we have some real green forage. So now zone A is coming online to say it this way. And they will be able to spend the weekend there. So today is Friday. And I will have the pleasure to manage that by opening and closing gates, the spirals. It should be fairly easy. And then they will be able to fill their bellies with some green stuff. In terms of swales and ponds, well, that is what we have from the last rain events. Rain was mostly a dribble, not really downpours. So that is how it is. But it definitely is wet and should not be a huge problem. But now the forecast says no rain but sun. Which is also important, because now the grasses and all that can actually grow. And if I go a little bit further, I can show you those big leaves that we have there. So the trees here, they are not so impressive. And I see that some of the leaves, for example that one here, they are kind of suffering. It must be the cold. But on the other hand, there, they do look quite different. So let me get closer. So these here are the two that have extremely big leaves. So they are looking like it were summer. Let me zoom in and it will also be a little bit brighter. So see, this polovnia looks like it were summer. And this is the tallest one. You can see that the trunk is now really looking like a tree trunk. And if I move the camera up, you can see how high it goes. If we were after timber, then we would have pruned it. But here in this case, we have a different purpose in mind. So we are after the biomass in form of the leaves and we will cut some of them and turn them into wood chips when the time comes. And it's all to feed the soil on the sperm to make soil because later we want to cultivate something there. So we want to harvest the crop from the sperm. But this is in the nearer future. So having these plants there in the water is a good thing. Um, some of you mentioned to plant something in the swales, and yeah, it kind of happened all on its own. And there are more volunteers showing up. So maybe here in that case we don't have to do much. But I think I should find some seed that we can throw in here that are suitable for this situation. And by the way, you have heard some quick. So that fence there is live, 
and here and there they do touch it but as they can pass through they really don't care they just uh, move forward this is not a fence for pigs this fence is to keep the cows there where the pigs are at the moment but the cows will not get back to this area because they have done their job and now we hope that some of the grasses that are there can emerge with the sun that is now showing up so here you can see some of the damage that they have been doing and that's the exact same thing that the wild pigs also do they root up a little bit in search of an acorn that is buried or something else that they smelt and then they move on so it's not really a big concern if it's that way and you see they are now up there and they move from tree to tree in search of acorns all day long that is how they fatten themselves so now speaking about acorns right here under this tree which sits below the swale that we have in CT2 so maybe you just heard the plop and saw something falling that was an acorn and here we have some pretty big acorns so let me collect a few so here you have them that is what they are looking for and those are real ones so it looks like this tree under which I'm standing is in a lot better shape than many others which is a very positive thing you may notice that the fence has toppled over um, this needs a real fence so when we put these uh, metal posts in there that was just to have a quick solution but as we want to plant things on the berm things that are supposed to be a product of course we need to fence this in properly so that is one of the things that maybe we can do now that it's a little bit easier to put the fence posts in the real ones but of course we need to see how high the priority is find the budget for it and of course the time and of course if you look here this is pretty stony so we need to add a lot more biomass in order to really grow something here but it's an ongoing process and every time we plant something we will also get more biomass but of course um, it needs to be something that will stay here so we will see and for comparison this tree here has very 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 small acorns while the other one has the really thick ones so that's the difference so this tree needs to recover so here in my hand you can see the difference the one to the right is from the first tree and the one to the left is from the tree where I just showed you the acorns still on the tree so that is the one with the very small ones and the one with the big ones is somewhere back there next to the berm 